Our other big story out of South Florida this morning, out where at least 159 people are still missing after a condo partially collapsed. At least four people have died. And the first FEMA teams have arrived and more are expected to arrive today to assist. CBS's Laura Podesta is in Surfside with the latest. Rescue crews are working around the clock in hopes of finding survivors of the building collapse in Surfside, Florida. They are so motivated to uh, bring people out safely and restore them to their loved ones. Search dogs scoured the rubble for any signs of life. One Miami-Dade fire rescue team used heavy equipment in the basement parking garage. It is a very slow and methodical process because every time we start uh, breaching parts of the, the structure, we do get debris that falls on us. Surveillance video captured the moment the 12-story condo building buckled. One section teetered before also giving way. Floors were left pancaked on top of one another. Entire apartments cut in half. This was a picture that you see in magazines from terror attacks. The tower has a mix of seasonal and year-round residents. Officials say 55 of the building's 136 units were involved. Oh my God. Friends and family can now only wait and hope. The only God is the one who saved them. We've been trying to locate them since around 4 o'clock in the morning. This is a nightmare that we can't wake up from. Not long after the collapse, Nicholas Balboa saw a boy's hand waving in the rubble. We were there. We were letting him know that we were there. Um, and he said, you know, please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. So I told him that we wouldn't leave him. Amid the search and rescue effort, Engineers are also searching for clues into what brought the building down. Laura Podesta, CBS News, Surfside, Florida. Such hard video mm -hmm. to watch there. One study by a Florida International University professor found that the building, constructed 40 years ago on reclaimed wetlands, was slowly sinking for decades. The sinking was measured at a rate of 2 millimeters a year during the 90s. That may have impacted the building's structural integrity, but so far an official cause has not been determined.